Okay, hello again, STEM students. Sabi namin kanina, dito na mag-start ang ating... Computation. Computation. So, let's proceed with... Module 2, Series, series and, and Sequence. 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 Series and Sequence. Bisaya ka man, Dai. Series and Sequence. Okay. Objectives, we have... Define and differentiate sequence and series. Solve problems... Ulitin ko lang ha. Uh, Solve problems involving sequence and series. And lastly, use sigma notation to represent a series. series. Okay, para hindi na tayo magpaligoy-ligoy pa. Let's start. Definition muna tayo bago tayo okay. magpaligoy. Okay, ano nga ba ang tinatawag nating sequence? Okay, it, when we say sequence, it is an ordered list of numbers. Pag sinabi nating ordered list of numbers, there is a pattern. Yes. Okay. And we have two types of sequence. Una, we have finite. It contains a finite numbers of terms. Example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ibig and sabihin natin kapag finite, meron siyang beginning at meron siyang ending. ending. Ibig Close sabihin siya. naman, meron siyang last term. Yes. Okay. And Second, we say in finite. Infinite. Or infinite, sorry. It contains a infinite number of terms. From the word infinite, walang katapusan. And it always represented by dot, dot, dot. Yeah, One, dot, two, dot, three, dot. four, five, dot, dot, dot means that Wala is siyang... no um, last term. Yes, wala, wala siyang last katapusan. term. Okay. Ano nga ba yung term na sinasabi natin? It is called to which numbers of, of a sequence. A sequence. Let's say, for yung example, mga... how many terms do we have in the finite? We have, we have five one, terms. two, three, four, five. Five terms. But, yan. okay, in inf infinite, hindi, hindi natin, natin malalaman yan kung ilang terms yan kasi because of the dot, 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 walang katapusan. Okay. Finite and, and infinite. When we say series, it is the indicated sum, sum of, of a sequence. sequence. Ibig sabihin, sum, an example, addition. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we have the sum Ayan. So, pag a lang natin sila lahat. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 15. 15. So, yon ang ating tinatawag na series. Sum of a sequence. Pinag-add niya lahat, pinag-plus niya lahat yung sequence. Kaya ka nagkaroon ng series na 15. So, 15 is a series. And I think malinaw sa atin ang pagkakaiba ni sequence and series. Okay. okay. Next, we have Sigma notation. Sigma notation. Sigma notation, it is a method used to write out a long sum in a concise way. Kapag masyado ng mahaba, for example, 100, 100. na. Para mas madali, hindi mo siya isulat ng mano-mano, gagamitan natin siya ng sigma, sigma symbol. So, ang symbol natin for sigma is yung nakikita nyo para siyang baliktad na letter M. Mm -hmm. Nakaside na letter M. So, that is our symbol for sigma. For example, paano nga ba yung dasahin? So, we have summation, summation of 2n as n is equal to 1 to 4. Okay, so summation of 2n as n is equal to 1 to 1 to 4. Okay, so here's our solution. Papaano yun? Take note mga anak, when we say summation, it is the sum. Yeah. From the word sum, summation. Okay, so the operation being involved is addition, of course. Okay? So, substitution lang yan. Nakikita nyo yung 2n dyan. Isa-substitute natin yung n hanggang kay 4. So, dito sa solution natin, 2, sinubstitute natin si 1. So, 2 times 1 and plus... And then, look, ma'am, nag-impasay siya na si n is mag siya kay 1. At matatapos kay 4. 4. Kaya siya 1 to 4. Yes. 2 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4. Nag-start tayo kay 1, nag-last tayo kay 4. At kung nakita nila dyan, ma'am, pinalitan lang natin si n ng 1, 2, 3, and 4. 4. Okay. So, 2 times 1 is... 2 plus 2, 2 times, times 2, 2 is 4 plus 2 times 3 is 6 plus Ang bibinata ka sir <laughs> 2 times 4 is 8 So okay. pag pinag-add mo yan lahat It is equal to 20 Meaning to say ma'am The summation of 2n Wherein n is equal to 1 to 4 Is equal to 20. 20 So para mas maintindihan Let's proceed with more and more and more examples, examples. 
And let's have our first example. <laughs> <laughs> Write the first three terms of the sequence. A sub N is equal to 2N minus 1. Take note, mga anak, that N here is the number of sequence. Yes. Okay? Or the number of terms. I'm so sorry. So we have three terms, sabi niya? So we're looking for the first term. The second term. And the third term. Okay? Of the sequence now, first term of A sub N is equal to 2N minus 1. Napakahirap. Sabi ko yung N kanina <laughs> number is of terms. the number of terms. Sabi natin dito, first term, definitely this is equal to 1. one. So A, papalitan po natin yan ng 1 is equal to 2 since a since ano yan n is 1 this is 1 times 1, one. minus 1 2 times 1 is 2 2 minus 1 equal to 1 ang hirap <laughs> <laughs> next okay second term of sequence 2n minus 1 okay 2 our n is 2. 2 because second minus 1. 2 times 2 is 4. four. Minus 1. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. three. Ang hira. And third term of the sequence 2 n minus 1. Okay, we have 2. Our n is 3, three. because third term minus 1. 2 times 3 is 6, six minus, minus one. 1. Okay, this is equal to Five. So the first three terms of the sequence 2 and minus 1 are 1, 3, and 5. Maliwanag po ba mga tintin? Yeah. At dahil maliwanag yan, pupunta Let's tayo sa example, example number, number two. 2. Okay? We have our sequence A, N is equal to N all over N plus 1. The question is, find the 8th term. Okay? So we have now A... 8 term po ang hinahanap. So, A8 is equal to 8 all over 8 plus 1. Ang hirap. <laughs> Ang equal hirap. to 8 all, all over, over 8 plus 1 is 9. nine. That is our 8th <laughs> term. <laughs> Andali lang pala ng topic. Ito pang grade 1. Next, Next is number example number 3. three. A-N- a sub n is equal to n squared. May pa squared sa ate. All over <laughs> n minus 2. Find the fifth term. This is an example of sequence. Okay. Sabi na fifth term. So, let's substitute n by 5. Equal to ano po yung n natin? 5. five. So this is 5 squared. All over n is 5. Tama ba? Yes. Minus, minus two. 2. Is equal to 5 squared. 25. Is equal to 25 because All that over. is 5 times 5. All over, 5 times 5 minus 2? 3. 3. Okay. 25 all over 3. Final answer. Okay. Take note ha. Dito man bakit tatlo? Kasi ang hinahanap dyan, first, first three, three terms. terms. Okay. Pero dito, yung eighth at saka Walo, yung fifth lang yung hinahanap. Lima. Okay. For the series, Ma'am Tintin will discuss it. Okay. Let's solve for series. Kanina, sa example natin, doon sa PowerPoint, X yata yung nandoon, tama? So, huwag kayong makukonfuse. Kahit anong letter ang gam gamitin natin, pwede. For as long as parehas po yung nandito sa summation at parehas yung sa given equation. So, unahin natin, substitute. Mag-start daw tayo sa 1. Mo matatapos muna, tayo kay 3. So, How we have summation of 2i minus 1. Yes. When i is equal to 1 is 2. Four. Three. <laughs> Where <Sorry>. I? Balik sa. <laughs> Duling talaga. Wala na talaga. Summation of sorry. two again. Okay. Summation of two I minus May one. When I Where? is equal to one, two, three. three. Oo, oh, ganun yun. <laughs> okay, substitute. So we have... Where two, yun? I wear, wear, wear ba? Uh Oo. -oh. Where yun? Uh -oh. Minus 1. It is equal to, unahin natin si 1. So, yung i, papalitan lang natin ng 1. one. So, 2 times 1 minus 1. 
Tama? Plus. Dahil sa summation yan, plus. Copy. 2, yung i, papalitan natin ng times 2 minus 1. Plus ulit. 2 times 3 minus 1. Since na-reach na natin yung 3, let's simplify. 2 times 2, we have 2 copy minus 1. Plus 2 times 2, 4 copy minus 1 plus 2 times 3 6 copy minus 1 2 times 2 minus 1 we have 1 plus 4 minus 1 3 plus 6 minus 1 5 so it is equal to 1 plus 3 4 plus 5 9 so our answer for this For this summation is equal to 9. Second example, find the sum of the series. Ipa-perfect ko na to. Sige, go. Summation of 1 half n, where n is equal to 3 to 6. Perfect. Take note na mag-start tayo kay 3. 3, matatapos tayo kay 6. 1 half times n. So, we have 1 half times 3. Plus one half times four plus one half times five plus one half times six is equal to. Nagstart tayo kay three, natapos tayo kay six. Simplify one times three divided by two. We have three all over two plus. 1 times 4 divided by 2, 4 all over 2 or 2. Plus, asa na yun? 5 all over 2. We have 6 all over 2 or plus 3. Next, paano tayo mag-add? May imaginary 1. Imaginary denominator of 1 and we have imaginary denominator of 1. Dito na lang, mas madali. Get the LCD. Get the LCD. 2, 1, 2, 1. Ang LCD nila ay? 2. 2. So, we have 2 times 2. 2 divided by 2. Sorry, 2 divided by 2 is? 1. 1 times 3. 3. Plus, 2 divided by 1. 2 times 2 is? 4. Plus, 2 divided by 2. 1 times 5 is 5. Plus, 2 divided by 1. 2 times 3 is 6. And then, you add. 3, 4, 7, 8. 18 divided by 2, it is equal to 9. Oh, galing. Pares na 9. So, the series for this given example number 5 is also equal to 9. And last but not the least, we have, take note, basahin ng maigi, write summation of x raised to i, where i is equal to 1. 2, In expanded form. Hindi, hindi mo na kailangan. Series. Yes, hindi mo na kailangan mag-solve. You just need to expand. Magsa-substitute ka lang. Ibig sabihin nun kapatid, papahabain mo lang yan. Yeah, mag-start tayo kay 1, matatapos tayo kay 5. So, magsa-substitute ka lang kasi expand mo nga lang. So, we have x, 1. Since 1 yan, there's no need for us to write. Tama? Plus, x, exponent, papalitan natin ng 2. Plus, x, cube plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 5. Since expand yan, this is already our final answer. So, that's it for module number 2. Thank you so much. I hope marami kayong natutunan. Tandaan na walang mahirap dahil lahat tayo ay hashtag matibay. See you on our next video discussion. Bye-bye! Bye-bye mga anak!